doctor, one of our most trusted people in life, uh, at least until the big insurance companies and uh, private for-profit hospitals took them a bit further away from us. So the question is, uh, our healers, what do you want to smell when you go to the hospital? <laughs> I know there's lots of nasty smells, lots of those pungent iodine and all those antiseptic stuff, right? You're already feeling like very cringy and, you know, the walls are usually white and you are in pain and you are like, ooh, what could soothe you, okay, besides the angelic white lab coats that, uh, and hopefully a soothing voice that uh, calms you down, uh, pleasant smell can help. Although usually um, perfumes are kind of uh, not encouraged in uh, healthcare settings and most of most uh, healthcare personnel might not wear much of it. But uh, this is one scenario where I see that, you know, there's one uh, brand I used to criticize a lot for a few things. One is releasing uh, tons of flankers year in, year out. Uh, and two, making perfumes that are like very, very light and so you might barely smell them. But in this situation, lots of the things that they do sort of um, blends in and sort of becomes the exact thing that one might look for. Uh, in a perfume that a healthcare professional might wear. So before going to that, again, we go to our ritual of, at least for the benefit of those who might have not watched uh, my other profession videos. These are actually, guys, this is my thought, my opinion, my taste. It might be different for other people, so don't, uh, uh, how to say, uh, jump on me. Don't do a digital jump on me, okay? All right, it's all in good fun, guys, you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I will go as usual to this, this sweet mess, noisy, loud, definitely not for the healthcare professional environment, you're going to scare your patients. Uh, as it is uh, this, this is for a debt collector or a bouncer or somebody who want to project power. Okay, red tobacco, Mansera, in case you're wondering. Okay, yet, no. Okay. Um, so some of the sweet clubbing uh, usual suspects okay that kind of uh, environment and uh, the versatile one I already mentioned before in my other videos okay this is an all-time classic guys love it so if you're a guy you want to wear this thing it's got a bit of a dilemma because uh, yeah the famous gasoline accord right I know I know Iris and all that uh, this um, attracts guys Ooh. So if you want to attract ladies, uh, then, you know, you've got to look into that. Okay. Right. Um, so, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a sweet mess. <laughs> it's it's more interesting for the bottle rather than anything. Okay. So, and then uh, we went through some and, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful thing you can keep in your cupboard. This is a downhill icon. Certain situations I mentioned, noisy, loud places, smoky places. This will work. Uh, so hospital is not that right okay uh, and then this is more for the uh, this is a bit when i said uh, uh when, when i had a discussion about military perfumes and uh, this came in so this kind of sharp uh, bubble shoppy a bit more green booty stuff uh, this is uh, this goes well in the environment but uh, i don't see a doctor wearing this because it's you as i said i'm already coming to the hospital in this kind of pain i don't want to smell <laughs> sharp stuff and like you know yeah yeah no, nope, no, nope, nope. Okay, it's not gonna be yeah calming for me. I want things that's gonna calm me down, the soothing. I don't want things that are too uh, loud, you know, strong. These kind of things and all this is a carbon, uh, somewhat similar to this sawage. All these are like when you are healthy, fit, and you want to be, you know. Uh, this one and um, as a doctor as well you know for a doctor for a nurse again when you go to your work you want to feel you yourself want to feel calm and so you probably wouldn't want uh, things that are like too uh, you know um, too in your face as it were okay so uh, among uh, so any guesses guys or any thoughts any whatever before I jump into it uh, and also of course as usual I welcome those who uh, hardcore collectors there might be an overlap as well those who are hardcore collectors and work in the healthcare environment and how did people around you feel right so maybe how to put a scenario let's say you're a doctor and a party that right? you you went on you went in hard with uh, let's say club the new intense man you know it's like a partying night and whatnot uh, and suddenly you're called to the hospital and you're rushing you just you know you don't have time you just sort of you know throw out your coat and run into uh, you know wherever you're supposed to go and then your staff 
smells you as you are you know entering the hospital and say wow you smell good or what you know if you have some experience like that you know by all means do share but uh, we are talking about general common common things being common right so uh, this i gave it to uh, another profession this is a very international vibe to it mansarat said that boy is a uh, niche perfume with lots of uh, international vibe various fruits uh, wood and all all this kind of thing nice stuff good stuff okay this is for the more uh, what do you call it more left brain inclined luna rosa original okay and so after going through much uh, analysis much thinking all subjected by me of course we had didn't create a committee to to sort of uh, do a scientific research and come up with it one perfume i mentioned earlier in the video where i i thought it had a lot of flaws because of those things too a bit too light a bit too um uh, flankery type and all these kind of things and all this all stuff uh, sort of became the right thing right and even among the 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 products in the brand that i reviewed most of them uh, i i i was like critical about as i said being too light and all that this one that i'm about to tell you is is a bit of a better one that means the the projection longevity also a bit decent and uh, you know it just wins like uh, it just wins and i don't know it's a coincidence or it's a planned thing number one it's a unisex perfume so you are a nurse you are a doctor you are a male nurse you are a female doctor whatever it is combination you can rock it uh, and also it so happens that not only is the perfume soothing but look at this look at this guys right and landing from the top like an angel look at this okay even the bottle is like white i don't know it's like i don't know people planned it or it just so happened to like you know become like that but yeah uh, ck all guys one of the better ck perfumes i, I feel uh, i i use quite a bit of them uh, ck1 ckb ck this ck all and a bunch of it uh, okay and all the not all but uh, some some uh, let's say some because the flankers are too many some of the ck1 flankers and what not so uh, ck all it has uh, bergamot orange uh, grapefruit blossoms as well uh, jasmine vetiver uh, musk all right and a bit of amber and it's got this rhubarb okay rhubarb so it it goes very it just doesn't have hardcore it doesn't have wood it doesn't have leather it doesn't have incense it's not like heavy heating stuff you know that that will put people off uh, in the wrong environment so uh, i think it's just like it like just like you know like some white floral a bit of citrus imagine that when you are feeling unwell just a waft of that you know uh, as your doctor is calmly talking to you about your problems i think they'll be just adding to the aura of the environment this is my opinion and since most ck perfumes are very light and you know a skin scent somewhat so uh, it's barely is is uh, you can even say they're not really wearing much of a perfume because it's like this is like very light stuff ck one all this most of the ck's are like that so uh, it's not going to disturb the professionalism and all those things of the environment it's just something very light it's just like the doctor you know had a shower with a nice soap and all that you will still smell something so yeah so guys i think for healthcare professional ck all is a perfect choice at least that's according to my opinion so uh, what do you all think do you all agree with my uh, thoughts do share in the comment section thank you for listening uh, i really love everybody uh, youtube is a great community it allows people from all parts of the world to sort of share and you know discuss things and and like i i i feel like i really genuinely feel like you know that that um that sometimes you see some people making paintings of the earth as like mother earth and all the trees and plants and animals and humans all of us are like a sort of one root in this organism the earth itself as like one giant organism with all of us as like uh, leaflets or parts of it and all of us are like brothers and sisters and sort of you know re related uh, in that way so yeah that's that's you know that's what uh, technology hopefully is bringing us there are bad stuff ai i don't know all this kind of stuff and all is there everything comes good and bad but uh, the good at least is that i feel there's this whole huge worldwide community where everybody can sort of talk about things share comment and you know sort of uh, a be part of each other's interests and and all these things and i think that's just great guys that's just great okay guys uh enough of my talk uh thank you take care much love from sentown bye bye ck all guys ck all